Hey everyone, Johnny here. In this video, I want to show you a new extension that I've been working on. This one's called Hinge Extrude. It's based off an old Maya video that I saw showing a feature in Maya that lets you extrude but around an edge. Now you can accomplish this in Blender, but it does take multiple steps to do it, and it's always been kind of clunky, and I wanted a way that you could do it with just a couple of clicks. So let's jump into it. To get the extension, you're going to want to visit my personal extension repository. I'll put a link down in the description, and once you go to that link, it has instructions on how you can add my repository to your Blender installation. I'm going to go up to Edit and Preferences, and you can see here under Get Extensions, under the Repositories, once you follow the instructions on the site, you'll have this johnnygizmo.github.io, and uh, once you have that added to your extension libraries, you should be able to get to what I'm going to show you. The extension itself is called Hinge Extrude. And you'll see here, Johnny Gizmo Hinge Extrude. Currently, it's at version 1.0.5. So I'm going to click Install on this. And I'm going to go back into Blender. Now this extension will work on any mesh, but let's go ahead and work on this cube here and show you what it can do. So I'm going to put a couple of loop cuts into this cube. So what I'm going to do is, while we're in edit mode here, I'm going to shift click on edge mode as well. So now I've got both face mode and edge mode selected. I've got my face selected and I'm going to shift click on this edge and then shift click on it again. I'm going to move my 3D cursor out of the way. So we can see here now that I've got this face selected, but this edge is active. With that done, I'll go up to the Face menu and choose Hinge Extrude. Now, unfortunately, this isn't an interactive tool yet, but you can kind of make it interactive by using the Redo menu here. So by default, it goes to 30 degrees, and we can increase and decrease that. And we can add in extra steps. Now this, also, now this also works with uh, multiple face selection. So let's say I had these four faces and I wanted to rotate along this edge here. I would simply shift click on this edge twice and do hinge extrude. Another thing we can do is rotate using an edge that isn't necessarily connected to one of the selected faces. So if I were to grab these four faces, go in, make sure I've got both face and edge select mode here, and grab this edge, I could do a hinge extrude like this. Now this is also available in the context menu. And it's also available if you do a search for it. So that's the hinge extrude tool. It's not something you're going to need all the time, but it might be something that comes in handy every once in a while. Anyhow, it's free to download. So if you jump over to the URL down in the description, you can go ahead and get my repository installed. And then you can get this extension installed as well. If you're finding my extensions or my videos helpful and you want to support the channel, you can always jump over to my Patreon. Uh, links are down in the description. Or if you want to join the channel as a channel member, you can do that as well. Anyhow, 
Thanks for your support. I hope this video inspires you to make something awesome. And until next time, I'll catch you later.